Hello everyone! Today I'm going to share with you some fun activities and ideas for teaching your preschooler about the rainforest. For these activities, I will be using books from the library and from the thrift store, also some toys and manipulatives from the thrift store. I will also be using some free printables that I found that are great for teaching preschoolers about the rainforest. I will tell you where you can get these printables. And as usual, I will be sharing some of my free printables with all my subscribers. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. The first activity that I'm going to be using with my grandson is a literacy activity I got a lot of books from the library. This one is the Red Eye Tree Frog. I really like all of the illustrations. So I am going to be using a lot of books. This one is Who is the Beast? And um, it, this one gives some, some clues. And as we read, we figure out who the beast is. Like this would be a tiger. Super cute book. This one is So Say the Monkeys. I like this one by Eric Carle, The Mixed Up Chameleon. This is a really fun book. So we're going to read this. I have several nonfiction books. I really like the National Geographic Kids. This one is on owls, tropical rainforest. This is on monkeys, spiders. This one is owls in Spanish, boas. This is an Eric Carl book. And then this one I like this one is the touch and feel. I actually bought this at the thrift store. Super cute book. So I will be using a lot of books. Um, I always like to encourage you to use your library. And um, if you have uh, thrift stores close by, look for books because that's a good way to build up your library. So I will be using a lot of books as I introduce the rainforest. Now, this is going to take a lot of the lessons that I have. We're probably going to take a whole month to do a lot of the activities, but I will be starting with lots of books. For this next activity, I created some cards. This is the Montessori three-part cards. We have one card that has the picture and the word. Then we have another card that only has the picture and then a card that has the word. So what my grandson is going to do, he's going to sort through the cards. He's not reading yet, so I will read with him. We're going to read Crocodile. So we're going to put that here and then he's going to find the picture of the crocodile, place it here and then the word for crocodile. That's going to go here. I'm using these little boxes. These are from the dollar store and I just put some Velcro here to put them together. So for the lesson, we're going to sort through the cards. For the video, I already put them in order so you can see what we're doing here. But when I work with him, this will not be in this order. He will look for them. So we're going to say the name is Blue Marfo Butterfly. And then he will look for the picture of the Blue Marfo Butterfly and the name. Same thing with Iwana. This is a great way to practice vocabulary, vocabulary building. If your child is already reading, 
then he would read the word. My grandson, I would be reading the words. This is uh, visual discrimination. So you would do this with all of the cards and then your child would sort them. Now, if you don't have something like this, you can use whatever it is you have at home. These little containers, um, they had some lunch meat, so you can use those. You can put um, a little paper divided divider here like I did for mine, and you can use that. I always like to encourage you to use whatever you have at home. This is a free printable, and I'll go ahead and link it below. For this activity, this is an object matching activity. I'm using the cards that I created for the three-part card activity. So what we're going to do, we're going to say the word Iwana, and then we're going to match the object Iwana. Crocodile. So then we'll match the crocodile, and so on. Blue Marfo Butterfly. This is the perfect way to practice vocabulary. For this activity, I'm using this printable that I created. I'm calling it Which is Longer. I'm using this numbers that we're going to put here. And then I punch some holes here. I'm using this uh, barrel of monkeys. This is from the dollar store. So we're going to see two. So we're going to put two monkeys here. and then we would do three monkeys on this side. This is a fun math activity that you can do with your child. This is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. For this next activity, we're going to be learning the layers of the rainforest. I went ahead and just printed the layers, the forest floor, the understory layer, the canopy, and the emergent layer. I'm using this really cute felt animals. These are from Amazon. They're called Jungle Rainforest Animals. They're by Little Folk Visual Felt Fun. There's 23 pieces. I used some felt that I already had. So we are going to be learning about the different layers and what animals live on each of the layers. And my grandson is going to be using the little felt pieces to put them on the different layers. I really like these felt pieces because they stick to the felt and he'll just have so much fun learning some fun facts about the rainforest layers. For this activity, I put together this Play-Doh box. I put some Play-Doh. I like to keep it wrapped in uh, some plastic. And then I'm going to go ahead and get it out when we start working with this. It has Play-Doh. It has um, some cookie cutters, like here's a crocodile. I have uh, little mini erasers. These are bananas, some little toys. These are from the dollar store. I have a, a snake, a butterfly, 
I have some little frogs. These are from the dollar store and they come three to a package. They're super cute. They look, the package looks something like this. This is, um, they're gnomes, but these are so cute. You can put this all together and then your child can carry it. Like if you're gonna be in the kitchen and you know, your child can sit there and play with this. My grandson will spend hours playing with this little Play-Doh box. This next activity is a fine motor skills activity. I'm using some pasta that we colored, some yarn, and um, some little eyes that I glued to the pasta. The way I color the pasta, just put it in a bag. I use one tablespoon of alcohol and then about 10 drops of the food coloring. You just put it in there and then you mix it and then I put it on a cookie tray. I put some aluminum foil at the bottom and then just let it dry for about 30 minutes and then you're good to go. The way we put this together, I put the pasta here, I put the yarn and I tied it right here. Then my grandson is going to be putting the pasta here to make a snake. I put a little bit of tape at the end so it's easier for him to do this. This is a fine motor skills activity. Also concentration as they're trying to bring the yarn and get it all the way through. I did glue some little eyes here and when we're done we're just going to tie this and that is going to be his snake. This is a fun, inexpensive way to have fun. You can work with making a pattern. Super fun activity. For this activity, this is a salt tray, letter tracing activity. I'm using this box that I already had. I'm not using salt. I'm using some green sand from the dollar store. And um, I'm going to be using this brush and my grandson is going to be tracing some letters. Like let's say we're gonna trace the letter T for tiger. Now, the next day, I will be using some sprinkles. These are the sprinkles that I bought at Walmart on clearance, and I paid nine cents for the Christmas sprinkles. But these are perfect because they're green. So we will be tracing some letters using the sprinkles. This activity 
is a sorting activity. I'm using this shoe box. You've seen me use this box before. I used it in my farm activities video number two. But today we're going to be sorting farm animals and rainforest animals. I have a little bit of Velcro there. And so I'm going to put this here. I also have this envelope in the back where we can put extra cards. So what my grandson is going to do, he's going to look through the cards and say, this is an iguana, belongs in the rainforest. So he's going to sort and put the cards there. This is a duck, that's a farm animal. Crocodile. Marfa butterfly, that goes here and so on. It is a fun way to practice sorting. For this next activity, we're going to play a game. I have all of these frogs. I bought all of these at the thrift store and I paid a dollar for these. And I put them in this basket. This little basket my friend Kumari from Sri Lanka sent me this back basket. Thank you Kumari for this beautiful basket. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a game. So all you need is some little frogs. I'm using this die so we're going to roll the die and we have five. So what we're going to do is count the frogs. One, two, three, four, and five. And then my grandson will throw the dice. Okay, he got five also. So he would count five frogs. Two, three, four, five. And then it would be my turn. I would throw it again, three, and so on. So we just keep getting frogs and counting, and then at the end, we will see who has the most frogs. This activity, this is a game. This is from a free printable from Life Overseas. I went ahead and put a little brad and a paper clip here. It has the rainforest animals. She also offers a page with the animals. And I went ahead and cut all the little animals and I put them on these clips. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with this. All right, so for this one, we're just gonna play a game. We're going to spin and say, slot so then we are going to cover that and then you know my grandson would spin okay that's the marfo butterfly so then we would cover that and we would keep doing that and saying the name of the animals and then covering them this is a perfect way to practice new vocabulary and we're also working on our fine motor skills as we pick up our manipulative. This is a free printable from Life Overseas. I'm using the animals from the free printable from Life Overseas, except for the iguana. All of these are from Life Overseas. I'm using this um, paint stir, and my grandson just colored it. And we're going to review the rainforest layers 
So we're going to talk about the forest floor and the understory, the canopy, and the emergent layer. And what he's going to do, he's just going to be clipping different animals right here and um, just reviewing the rainforest layers. This next two printables, these are from Easy PC Learners. It's a free printable, but you need to go and get it yourself. We're going to be using our scissors. We're going to cut the shapes and then we're going to match them. And she offers these two, two printables. And this is a perfect way to practice our scissor skills. We're gonna cut and we're also going to review shapes. This is from Easy PC Learners. These next three printables are also from Easy PC Learners. You can use them with um, duodot markers or you can use pom-poms or your child can color. Super fun activity from Easy PC Learners. This next set of printables, this is a free packet. It has the Rainforest Tot Pre-K Pack. It's a free printable, but you need to go and get it yourself. This is from Annette in, in All You Do, and I think it's inallyoudo.net. And she has so many fun activities. This one is a beginning letter sound activities. And so what you would do is cut these. I laminated mine. And so what my grandson is going to do is match the beginning letter sound. Anaconda, B, Chameleon, Gorilla, super cute from Annette at In All You Do. I'm gonna show you what else comes in here. She also has some tracing activities. I would laminate, um, or if you don't have a laminating machine, maybe put it in a sheet protector I really like these. These have the word, so your child is going to read the word. If your child is not reading yet, then you would read the word. So tiger, then trace with a marker, a dry erase marker. Then using some letters, we're going to build the word tiger. Tiger. And then at the bottom, we're going to write the word tiger. She has one for tiger, gorilla, the chameleon, the anaconda. She also has these really cute puzzles. So what you do, you just cut and then your child is going to put this together. I put there's one one through five and then she has one one through ten and i went ahead and laminated the pieces put um, a magnet in the back so what my grandson is going to do he's going to put this together this is the chameleon she also has some Vocabulary building words, sloth, tiger, super cute. She has um, letter tracing and word tracing. She has um, some, like a Play-Doh mat. You know, you would uh, have your child form the letter with Play-Doh. 
or if you want to um, have your child color it and then trace there's um, lots of activities and all of this is free from her page but you need to go to Annette in in all you do she also has this clip cards for beginning letter sound more tracing and more of the vocabulary building cards super cute she also has um, this um, clip cards for number quantity so we would look and okay there's one so we would use our clip one two three four five and so on all of her packet is free lots of learning activities from Annette in in all you do and you go and look for rainforest tot pre-k pack I picked this up at the thrift store for three dollars so we're going to go ahead and use this it has this cute monkey and it has some bananas we can do um, matching like we have five and five bananas or we can do some addition so if we have five what makes five three plus two is five super fun and I paid three dollars at the thrift store we're also going to be using some of these cards that we already had and my grandson is going to be tracing the number and then the word for the number so cards from the thrift store my grandson also made this uh, binoculars this is a paper towel roll we cut it he just uh, used some crayons and then we used some yarn and we made some binoculars we also picked up this at the thrift store it's a little lunch box and he just has a bunch of animals in here that he's going to be playing with as we learn about the rainforest I hope you enjoyed the activities I had for you today don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.